Welcome everybody to the last lesson in our um, human-ocean interaction in terms of resources. Um, well, not not entirely true. The the whole next unit is on ocean fisheries, which is essentially um, based on the biological resources that we that we harvest. But this is the last of the um, of the other categories. So, um, and uh, this is going to be very brief. It's pretty intuitive, not too complicated. And essentially, this is. Um, the, the, I'm just going to go over a couple examples of how we harvest energy from the marine environment, and that's what I mean by marine energy resources. Um, when we say energy, we mean getting energy directly from the from the ocean, using the ocean to gain energy directly as a resource. And um, and really, these are um, basically technologies that that most of us are familiar with and are used on land in one one way shape or form and and we are just applying them to the ocean now I mean the ocean we know now is continually moving it's got a continual um, interaction with the atmosphere and it, it has continual um, types of circulation um, and we have tidal movement we have wave action we have long-term currents and in all this, all this circulation, these f physical phenomena, there's is a lot of energy. Um, and so, if we can harvest that, then that is a renewable, non-destructive source of energy that we 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 could use as an alternative energy source to things such as the hydrocarbons. Um, first one should be familiar to everybody, and those are just windmills using the wind. Um, the oceans are long stretches of uninterrupted er, um, globe, essentially, for the long-term wind patterns to set up. The basically all the ones that we talked about um, in atmospheric circulation, um, and so um, it's they are the oceans are the perfect places to set up windmills. Um, nobody likes to look at these, uh, or at least there are a good many people that are against having these uh, put up because nobody likes to look at them. But really, it's a good um, I actually, I ha I happen to 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 like wind the windmills uh, myself, but but um, but beyond the aesthetics or how how good it looks or how bad it looks, um, this is a really uh, sort of uh, no-brainer idea for way for us to to harvest energy directly from the ocean. Um, the remainder of the, the 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 remaining couple examples that I'm going to show you really are about sort of turbine and generator type technologies. Um, some of them are based on wave action, so the ocean is constantly in motion at the surface um, due to its interaction with the atmosphere and the wind. And with that with that wave action up and down, we know that the water molecules are constantly um, circulating up and down, up and down, up and down to transfer energy. So why not harvest some of that energy? There are ideas like these mag magnetic uh, electric coil generators and if you float them up on the ocean as the waves go up and down they sort of shake this electromagnetic um, coil and, and generate energy just like a um, just like a generator would. Um, Another way is to use the the wave energy, so we know the water moves up and down, but also the energy is dissipated in a linear um, direction. And so if we have these turbine type things that we deploy, these are called palamis, energy wave converters, um, we float these things out there and as the wave energy passes by, um, it sort of turns a turbine and generates a lot of energy. Um, there are whole communities where these have been put into tests um, quite some time ago now. I don't know what the state of this this project is, um, but they did have a test project where where they used it to sort of power um, a, a good portion, if not all, the homes in a in a community in Portugal. Um, really, the only other example I want to to go over. Um, are essentially the same types of ideas, but using them in a way to harvest currents under the ocean instead of using the waves or or the winds above the ocean. And so there are designs for sort of underwater um, windmills, or I guess you would call it a water mill. So as the currents go by, they push these 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 uh, fins or fan blades, just like the wind would, um, and generate energy with a turbine. And then there are ones that the currents just kind of pass through, and there's a turbine in there, and they just they just turn that little propeller. 
in there and, and generate energy. And these types of things are probably the future. Now, a lot of them redirect currents, they interrupt currents, they might interrupt some physical phenomena, some of the physical phenomena we've learned about in the course. And so they have um, unknown repercussions, and these are things that are that are um, that need to be studied before we just sort of wholesale start deploying them. Um, we, uh, my lab was in, was involved in actually a proposal to do some some of this research because uh, one company had developed a turbine like this, an underwater turbine just like this one, and the upshot of the whole thing, if you want to call it an upshot, was it redirected some current and caused a continual upwelling event right there. Now you might think that probably in the long term an upwelling event is a good thing because it would cause continual um, phytoplankton blooming and which would draw down CO2 out of the atmosphere, but but not necessarily, right? When we start forcing things, um, events in a place where they don't naturally occur in a way that they don't naturally occur, we start to get ecological uh, repercussions that we're not 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 sure of. Um, you know, species regime regime shifts. Um, remember. Uh, big pockets of organic matter are formed, we get big pockets of of um of anoxia sometimes. Or or, you know, the, the oxygen can get sucked out of the water column. And so and so they're not quite always always quite so straightforward, but but um these kinds of ideas are the are probably the future for energy for us. Um thanks very much for joining me. See you next lesson.